Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a bottle of, what the hell is it called? Val Valor Do Harry's. Valor Do Harry's? By the Omegang Brewery Omegang out of New York, Cooperstown, New York. Coming in at 9% ABV. Game of Thrones beer. The second Game of Thrones beer to be had on the channel. And oddly enough, the second Game of Thrones beer to be donated by my good friend, Mr. Uh, Chris. Mr. Chris, he was in, uh, I went to his house and we did that Innocent Gun Vanishing Point Stout, I think it was. It was a good time. I was going to save this until uh, Game of Thrones comes back on air, but that's in like November or something. And it's now the beginning of April. And um, I don't know if I'm going to make it to the day when they come out as far as the Daily Drink vlog goes. It's not looking good, to be honest. I am having a serious lack of new beers in my fridge. Oh, that's what we decided we're gonna do from now on, eh? All right, let's go back right there, that's what we'll do. That was actually amazing. That was so good, there's no way that I can ever do that again. <laughs> that was badass as hell. Oh. I'm actually that proud of it right now that I'm going to, I'm going to quickly, I'm doing it. I was tossing for in here and it landed right there. It actually did like a spinner roof thing and landed right there. Very proud of me. Yeah, that's right. I just kind of let you in on some underground behind the scenes info. When I do the bottle cap toss, I only have the one GoPro camera and my cell phone has issues all the time with recording videos. So I make the shot and I listen and kind of see how well the shot was, and then I do my best to recreate that afterwards, and that's what you see. So, you know, a little behind the scenes stuff. Now, terrified of a cork after the last cork experience we had, so let's see how insane this might be. Oh, it's gonna go. That's definitely gonna go. I was ready for it that time. I don't know where that went though. <laughs> It, it bounced a lot. Let's see what we've got. I'm assuming pour number one is going to be relatively clear. I wasn't expecting it to be this light colored. This is a Belgian triple ale. Belgian triple. Oh, I've been having a lot of Belgian beers lately. As you can tell, getting down to the last beers in my fridge. All the ones I really don't want to drink that much, but I, I need to do it. Like, picture and come back and we'll do it. She's a little on the hazy side, but not super hazy. Like if I put my fingers there, you can kind of see them through the, through the haze. Nice fluffy white head. Actually doesn't have a whole lot of yeast aroma going on in my, in my, in my face. If anything, it's like a malty yeasty aroma. So, cross some fingers, give her a shot. That's all right. I think it's, I think this is, one of, I think like quadruples and triples, I, I'm i okay with kinda, cause the yeasty flavor is kinda subdued by the other complex insane flavors going on that I can't make any sense of whatsoever. There's like a sweet malty presence there. Yeast is, pre yeast is also present, but it's lower down than many other Belgian beers that I've had recently. Um, it's kind of a nice, multi, lingering flavor. It's not bad. I, I, I said 9%, I'm pretty sure at the beginning, so you know, that's not coming through either, which is always nice. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody.
It's actually quite reminiscent of some other beer I've had that I can't put my tongue's finger on. I don't get it. I hate that. Like, my taste memory is, it's really good where it's like, I taste something, it's like, I had that before. I know I've had that before, but the memory aspect doesn't connect with anything else that was happening when that happened. It's like, oh, I was doing a vlog. It wasn't over really exciting, but I know, yeah. I kind of like that, though. I'm surprised. Omegang ales are incomparable, yielding unique flavors and aromas inspired by deep insight into Belgian brewing and infused with Omegang's creative upstate New York spirit. Each ale offers perfect balance and pure drinking pleasure. Omegang is part of the Duvel family of fine ales. An official HBO licensed product, blah, 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 blah. Don't drink this if you're pregnant. Uh, I don't see ingredients. We have a best before date of... That'd be September 15th, next year, 2019. When the words Valar Morgulis are directed at you, there is but one correct response. Speak clearly and serve up Valar Doharius. With the aromas and flavors of honeyed sweetness balanced against mild bitterness and a rich full malt body. Pour slowly so as not to disturb the yeast sediment, but with enough vigor to create a luxurious head and release the rich bouquet. I think that's exactly the same, same thing I said in the last one I drank right there. And serve it 5 degrees Celsius. I definitely have it a bit colder than that to start with, but it'll warm up. You know, that way I, I give, not just the way I usually drink beers, but we get to the point where people who do it properly drink beers as well. You know, cheers to all you guys. It's actually pretty damn okay. I'm not usually a fan of anything Belgian, but this is... I want to say it's almost comparable, maybe? I wish I had them like back to back. The Beauty and the Belgian by Block 3 that I had not too long ago. It was one of the first Belgian beers where I was like, oh my god, this is actually really good. This is up there as well. It's like my level of time. It's now hit 11 minutes and 29 seconds. So, I'm taking a good long break and coming back for like... You know, drink number the last for that yeasty stuff I'm not supposed to disturb in there, and I'm gonna drink it. Blech. This is definitely overall one of the tastier Belgian beers I have had. It's got just that the malt presence balances out that yeast presence, and it's it's just nice. It took a good while to drink this though, and now we're gonna disturb the yeast that the label said do not disturb on. And That's right. This beer just uh, finished. To use a UK term that's a bit less known by people who live here. Still smells fruity, malty, barely yeasty, but <clears throat> sorry, I've got possible hiccups. <gasps> no, possible. And I think we're good. <clears throat> Anybody watching, if you have the hiccups, holding your breath, like, as long as you possibly can, until it's like at the point where it's like, oh my god, I have to breathe. That's what works for me. 
every single time, actually. Let's give this new cloudy Audis a shot. Kind of point out as well the uh, lovely lacing. Well, dried up lacing by now, but whole glass laced up. Flavor, pretty much the same as it was. Just that really, really sweet, malty flavor. With like the slightest hint of yeastiness to it. This, I want to say, is up there in like my top five Belgian style ales that I've had. Because it's, it's Belgian, but it's actually something I'm thoroughly enjoying which is not a thing that happens often at all. What does happen on occasion is my vlogs go too long. And I forget to do things like say, Brewery Omegang, I believe it is, isn't it? Dot com, right? No, just Omegang.com. O-M-M-E, gang, Omegang. They do a bunch of different stuff. And then ratings for this beer, 3.91 out of five on rate beer with 21,656 ratings. And that's not rate beer at all, it's actually untapped. Next is Beer Advocate, rate beer's actually last. 4.06 out of five, 208 ratings, Beer Advocate. Rate beer, now, 3.76 out of five is the weighted average with 134 ratings overall so it's it's light and even by me <clears throat> this one i can't argue it's pretty goddamn tasty a drink number the last <sighs> mm. brewery omegang your freaking crap is this valor valor Doharis or something. Your Belgian triple ale that's in this bottle. Rating. Solid 8.5. Would have been maybe a 9 ingredients. Would have bumped that up. I'm not going to knock it for the date because it's a kind of beer that you can sell her for a while. It says best before this date, but you could probably actually sell her for even longer and it would still be perfectly okay to drink. Just maybe a little weird or something. I don't know. I haven't sold a beer for that long yet. Someday. Maybe. Hopefully. Like I said before, the daily drink vlog is in serious jeopardy of dying soon. So any beers that were going to be cellared are probably going to be drank soon. And that's going to do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, little action on that like button, thumbs up thing. Always appreciated. If you want to see more? hit the subscribe button and then also hit the uh, bell notification thing I'm a what you crap it and uh, it'll let you know when I go live playing video games possibly apparently YouTube's notification algorithm is a little uh, mentally ill in the head it might it might shoot up a school soon or something like that down there Go USA gun laws. If you only got something to say to me, maybe regarding my last comment, comments go in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another intelligent vlog tomorrow. A piece of. Are you a pretty big fan of most styles of beer, but the Belgian style kind of scares you enough that you want to kind of run away and never come back? Then try to find yourself a bottle of Valar Doheri's by Brewery Omegang out of Cooperstown? Cooperstown, New York. I say try because it's pretty much not available anymore, but if you find it and you like Belgian stuff, you'll probably love that beer.